They let me keep it. We did it. To the Arnold now. You are seriously a doll. It's going very well. Oh my God, it was such an amazing day. So, I slept for 19 hours. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Right. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. To our winner, Julia Renee. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. Okay guys, so we came back from cardio, showered. Luckily they had a, I did bring uh, my food. I brought like a pound of shrimp. I bought my, brought my scale, a pound of chicken and a pound of beef and then some carb sources too. Um, but luckily also downstairs, since this is the Arnold, they had like a buffet that had like egg whites, plain oats, like great stuff. So I was able to recreate my exact breakfast that I have at home. So I did that. I um, blow dried my hair, showered. Now I'm gonna take my greens. I brought the travel size buff chick greens. This is in lime flavor. And I'm just, I love taking these travel size ones to anywhere that I'm like going because it makes it so much easier so you don't have to pack everything. And Buff Chick actually on their website, they do like they offer a like sample bundle thing where they send you a sample of everything. So definitely like take advantage of that so you can try these things out. And I love these greens because it's lime flavor. They have a bunch of different flavors too. Like they have one that's like peach tea, um, uh, peach bellini, like it's so yummy. So I'm gonna take my morning pills. I'm gonna drink my drink. It's honestly so good. Like I really enjoy drinking it, you know what I mean? Cheers, I'm gonna save this cup because I know I'm gonna need it later. So we're gonna start doing our makeup because first we have a photo shoot and then for a new campaign for Buff Chick. And then I have to bring three different outfits. So I have a outfit, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, so first outfit right here is an Alpha Elite set. We have the top and the bottom. We're doing a shoot for the uh, Buff Coffee, which I showed you guys in a previous video. So I have my outfit laid out for that. This is my outfit that I'm gonna wear when we go to the Arnold and I'm actually at the booth. And then this is the third outfit for the coffee campaign photo shoot, which they wanted us to wear. Just something like that you would wear for like a coffee date. Also look at this puffer um, purse that my little sister got me for my birthday. Like look how cute it is, it's from Amazon and it's so cheap and it actually goes really well with that outfit. So I'm gonna start getting ready and we'll go to the photo shoot. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to go live on TikTok to do like a little get ready with me. So if you see me, that's what we're doing. Man, I need some moisturizer. Okay. Good morning, everybody. We are in Columbus, Ohio, and we are going to the Arnold. I'm simultaneously filming a, a vlog while I'm on live with you guys.
And I will film this entire weekend and all this stuff. So make sure you go look at that from YouTube. I tried to be one of those girls that did like the dewy, like natural makeup. Not me, Just it's just not me. I love a full face. I love when my makeup stays, especially like I love to wear makeup in the gym. Cause like, come on, it's the only time that I get out. Let's be real. Okay, makeup is done. Hair is done. I'm just brushing it out really quick. I just did some soft waves. Honestly, did pretty dang good on my hair. I'm also packing like a couple things that I might need like deodorant, perfume, rice cakes, um, stuff like that. And, may, and, some, and my brush, just in case any of the girls also need it at the photo shoot. This is sticking out and it's bothering me. Look at this cute little dressing room. I'm the first one here in there. Creating a little set. Guys, these are some of the members of the Buff Chick squad. We got Buff Chick number one, Buff Chick number two. Look at those. Look, there's a little set. Sharing a room, but we ended up in- Look at this cutie pie, snuggling up on the couch. Oh my God. I don't want to work. Wait, Alex, do you like Essentia? Essentia will do. I picked this just Oh, do why? I feel like I love, I love Essentia. I don't like love it, but like if I go to a gas station- You never tried it? Water is water to me. That's crazy. I'm pretty much the same way. Water is water? Like you would drink Dasani or like Aquafina? Yeah. I mean, like sure. comfortably? Okay. It doesn't feel crazy. I don't think about the taste of water. I'm 100% gonna drink it, but like if I had this. I don't have Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Yay! Woo! <laughs> we did it! Okay, guys, we came back from the photo shoot. It was so much fun. We actually finished early because we did everything like on time. It was so smooth. And the robe that I was wearing, they let me keep it and I love it and it's so soft. So I just like refreshed my makeup a little bit, like reset my powder from any creasing and then changed into this fit. I'm still wearing the same shorts. I just changed into this Alphalete top. Um, and I brought a little jacket just in case I get cold there because the, the boobies are out. So I'm going to go into the Arnold now. in the line before and it's finally whittled down to only 2,000. So, see how long she lasts. Congrats, Julia, and welcome to the team. We love you. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but it's been a few hours. It's going very well.
For as long as I can remember, I've been searching to find who I am. So I did what everyone else told me to do. I went on a journey to fix myself. I did daily affirmations to fix my mindset, but I still didn't feel confident in who I was. I followed inspirational women to fix my motivation, but only felt envy and self-doubt. I changed my body to fix how I felt about myself, but I still disliked who I saw in the mirror. Until one day I thought, what if it's not about fixing myself? What if I accepted myself instead? I accept that I am enough, just as I am. I accept that I am unique, and that's where my beauty lies. I accept that I am powerful, and I create my dreams to become reality. And I want to show you how you can do the same. We have a lot more in common than we think. And I think that when we come together, especially us women, like there is magic in that. I literally feel like a brand new person. It opened another window for me and of, of accepting their love. This is the best group of women I've ever connected with. I'm so grateful for it. Okay, guys, we're back home. I'm like unpacking my giant bag that I brought. It's, what time is it? I don't even have a watch. I am so tired, but in the absolute best way. And my um, tripod is scooching down as we speak because <laughs> my thing's too heavy. But I, oh my God, it was such an amazing day. Getting to seriously meet all of you guys in person and like hear your stories and how like the, the YouTube channel or the podcast or any of my content has inspired you to keep going on your fitness journey. It's literally all that I could ever ask for. And that's why, that's why you, you are why I do what I do. And it, my job is a dream and it's so much fun and I just, I just remember being at the Arnold two years ago. I came by myself, I was in a hotel room by myself and I remember walking around and I came back into the room and I was even recording a YouTube video and I was just like crying two years ago because I didn't think that I was worthy enough. I didn't think that I was, that I was special. I didn't think that I was going to go anywhere with this fitness thing. I just felt like I was just feeling so low and to get to come to the Arnold two years later with an amazing brand like Buff Chicks of like supportive women and get to meet all of you and be at a booth and have like a line of people that were waiting to see me like just the amount of growth that has come in those two years is just Un, un, unreal and I'm just I'm overwhelmed with gratitude and it's only day one guys it's crazy and I wanted to show you this gift that Misty gave me Misty is uh, somebody that's been following me for a while and she's on a hundred pound weight loss journey and there's this little bracelet right here it says it has a little dumbbell on it and it says lift and then she got me this little there's a card. I'm going to read this by myself. Also, she has stunning handwriting. This book called Get Your Mind Right, 10 Keys to Unlock Your Potential, Ignite Your Success. So I'm really excited to read this because I love these kinds of books. And then she knows how much I love butterflies because it's the Know Your Power brand. So this is like a little hook and it's a butterfly. And then lastly, this adorable, sorry, this is my water from earlier. She also shared her little story with me. She has it like printed out of her weight loss journey, which is so amazing and so inspiring. And I just, I just love it. And look, I'm a scooch closer. Look at this. You guys know how much I love these cups. Look, look at the butterflies on it. <laughs> oh my God, it's like so cute. And these are hand painted on. I love it so much. I, I was just so grateful. And I can't wait to read this letter. I'm gonna read it 
right now, but I'm gonna read it by myself because it's gonna be a secret. It has a dog on it though. Uh, I'm keeping that forever. Every time you guys get send me things or or give me any gifts, I always keep them. I have like a literal like a special place that's specifically for y'all stuff, and I just I love it and and it it helps me so much because of course I have those days too where I like like <laughs> I question you know like what am I doing with my life or I question like am I ever going to you know be on the Olympia stage? You know I have those moments too, but. It's just now, when I do, I just go back to the reason why I'm doing this and it's not only because I love to do it, but it's also because I know that by me sharing my journey, it could touch somebody to encourage them to keep going. And um, I'm just so pumped. I'm gonna wear this bracelet. It's so cute, I've been wearing it since she got me it. I have a little dumbbell on it. I don't know if you can see, let me show you. Look at it, little dumbbell, isn't that cute? Thank you everybody who came today. Today's the end of day one. It's like a 6.30 right now and I'm already pooped and I'm ready to like take my makeup off and go to bed. So I'll see you in the morning for day two. Good morning guys, it is day two of the Arnold Expo. It's about 8.39 a.m. I woke up like 30 minutes later than yesterday. Yesterday I woke up at 5 a.m. Today I woke up at 5.30. I really didn't need to, but I just like have gotten in the habit of waking up this early that my body just kind of wakes me up anyways. So I went to do some cardio, but I know that I filmed that last time, so I didn't need to film it again. But I also went and got the got breakfast and I was able to recreate what my breakfast is at home. They had egg whites, they had turkey sausage. Um, I was able to get a bagel and uh, some fruit, so I'll pop that video up right on the screen right now, but but yeah, so I don't have to be at the expo until two. So today I'll be that at the booth from about, from two to 5 p.m. and then we have a little like hangout afterwards with the buff chick team where we're going to like do bowling and stuff like that. So I don't have really anything to do until 2 p.m. So, I might go train, I might, I might go to the gym, even though I like just did cardio, but it's like, I'm like, what do I do with my life? <laughs> just train, cardio, gym, cardio, gym. So what I'm thinking is I'm, I'll probably go to the gym. Yeah, I'll probably go to the gym. I'll put my makeup on, go to the gym, because I got plenty of time, and then, Huh. Maybe go to the expo a little bit earlier than two because I haven't had a chance to actually check out the expo. You know, I was at the booth all day yesterday and um, I didn't want to like leave, <laughs> you know, cause I had a scheduled time that I said I was gonna be there. So I never got to actually look around. I was just in my one spot. So I kind of want to see like what everything's about. So I'm gonna put some makeup on and I guess then we'll just turn around and go to the gym. Okay guys, this is the fit for today. Little Barbie outfit. I decided not to go to the gym since I did an extra cardio session this morning and um, I'm gonna be at the expo a lot longer today and then an event later. So I just, I know that I'm gonna be freaking exhausted. I'm already. I'm already exhausted as it is, but this is the cute little fit from Halara. I love this brand. They have the cutest things that look like little Barbie. And we're gonna head to the expo. I'm in the bathroom right now. And I'm just reapplying my lip gloss before we go. Also, this flavor, strawberry mangarita. It's new and it's so freaking good. I was like, I've never seen this video before and I have to get it, but now we're good to go. Conversation, and you seem to agree with me, but when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. And every time I trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you help me the way I have?
We are back at the hotel. It's about 6.30. We have, let me look at my schedule really quick because we have like some event to go to at 7.30. We're going to do a Buff Chick little team meeting um, at this like little bowling alley. So I have to be there in about an hour or so. I am like so tired. Tired. I have such a headache. I had way too much caffeine. I know that that's the case. Um, but like, I really want to go and like get to hang out with the girls and like experience it all. Okay. Well, yeah, that's what it is. It was such another incredible day. Tomorrow is the last day and I'm going to be at the booth from 10 AM to 1 PM. Then I also have to catch a flight. So I'm like trying to figure out like how am I gonna do that? Cause I need to be, I need to be at the, the, the flight leaves at 3.32. So I just need to figure something, something out and try to figure out how I'm gonna go there. But I wanted to show you some outfits that I got. There's, you know, I always wear onesies and my favorite place to get onesies from is Be Fit Apparel. And they were there and I was like, I have to get another outfit for tomorrow. Cause I wanted to wear a onesie. I haven't worn a onesie. Uh, yet. You guys know I'm a onesie girl, so I wanted to show you what I got. Also, I'm waiting for the bikini to go on because I want to watch Laura Lee. She's literally my favorite bikini competitor. Uh, and her posing is so good. So it's obviously not loading, but I'm watching that while I do this. Okay, we got our fit to go bowling. Just some jeans, a little onesie, a little puffy, puffy purse, puffy jacket. Now to go bowling. And you have to like wait to do like a pour over? Oh, yeah. But yeah. so that would be like easy to Okay, I'm gonna give you a little pour. I love you so much for this. It is the next morning, guys. I ended up staying till like 11 last night. You know me, that is so hard for me to do. I don't know how I did that, but I got home and I was exhausted. So I got to sleep in a little bit this morning, but we're on our way right now to the expo um, for the last day. And I just put all my luggage in my rental car so that when the expo is done, then I can just like come here and like leave because my flight is like right after I'm done. So let's go. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never back in Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but it's dying down a little bit. Sunday's a little bit slower than the rest of the days. We just got the line down. It's been amazing. Also, look at these dogs. Good morning, guys. <laughs> or should I say good afternoon? So I got back last night. Zach picked me up around like 8.30 p.m. or so. I got home, I took my nighttime pills and I like kind of decompressed a little bit. And for me, I also got a cold sore. So if that's what you're seeing, I can, I'm so tired. I can't even hold this camera, hold on. I'm gonna set it up right here. <coughs> so, one thing about me <laughs> is that um, me and Zach are very different to where he can go and like do an event, you know, and meet a bunch of people and like converse. I think it's like a introvert versus like a extrovert type of thing. So I, every time I go to like an event like this, it's the most incredible thing ever. But I never have any time to like 
uh, sit, relax, and like process everything that happened. You know, because I'm getting to meet so many of you and it's just like so amazing. So it was like three days like back to back of like all of that and like stuff and I never had time to decompress. So I literally went to bed at, my camera is sliding down as I'm talking. I went to bed, <coughs> my voice is also kind of, I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. I went to bed at 10, 11, 12, I slept for 19 hours. <laughs> Is that right? Okay, hold on, okay, hold on. If I went to bed, at yes, I counted my fingers. 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12. I slept for 14 hours, okay. <laughs> I slept for 14 hours. <laughs> I woke up at, went to bed at 10, woke up at 12. Um, luckily, my assistant couldn't do the Monday meeting that we usually had, so I was like, oh, thank God. Because I just, I know myself, and after I do, like, some big event like this, I usually have to, like, have, like, one big, like, long sleep. Um, and I feel so much better now. I feel so much better. Um, I'm gonna take today to just really, like, digest everything relax and like I I need to like reset myself for the week because like I, I didn't get to do my weekly reset like you guys saw in one of my previous videos like I do that every week but since I got home so late I didn't have time but that was the most amazing weekend of my entire life like that and the know your power retreat are like top top two best weekends of my life because I get to meet you guys in person and I know I didn't get to like talk to you guys one on one much because there was so much going on, but I tried my best to film what I could. Um, I wish I would have brought Ian with me, but it was a little bit like too last minute of a trip, but it was amazing getting to see you guys and, and you guys brought me presents and just to know like what the one thing that I noticed was just how the know your know your power brand and 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 the the mantra behind everything that i do is really sticking with people that's what i noticed the most is like people would would brought me notes that said like you're more powerful than you think i was signing things that said you're more powerful than you think people had me do their youtube outros saying you're more powerful than you think and if that's all i care about i don't i don't if anybody comes here and you don't get anything from this channel, that's what I want you to know, is that you're more powerful than you think so. It's just... It's just really awesome that people are seeing that. This is the first time that I've sat down and <laughs> had a chance to appreciate this weekend and actually have time to myself which I'm not complaining about. I just knew that this was gonna happen because <laughs> you are moving so fast from thing to thing and you don't have time to process all the amazing things that people are telling you and how you changed their life. So I just knew this was gonna happen. So I appreciate you guys so much. And Nothing that I do would be possible if it wasn't for you, so I appreciate you. Yes, I got a cold sore. <laughs> My skin is breaking out. <laughs> it's just like, <clears throat> sometimes it's hard to like take care of yourself during those things, so whenever I don't drink enough water or I stress my body out so much, you know, from just like the adrenaline and like needing to be places on time and like all the crowds and stuff, it can get a little nerve wracking. I get cold sores, so I'm sad that I did, but it was so worth it. <sighs> so thank you. I'm gonna sign off because I'm gonna turn into a blubbering mess. <laughs> but as always, I love you all so much, and you are more powerful than you think. <laughs>